Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. I'm Scarlet Siren, you can call me Scarlet. Today we are reacting to one of my favorite artists in the world that I just saw on tour, Miss Tori Amos. Okay, I will be the first to admit that after her album Scarlet's Walk, I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit. Um, I have heard her latest album, Ocean to Ocean, but this song that I am reacting to today is one that I didn't even know existed until about 20 seconds ago. And so I'm excited to um, get into this. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it was written for something. Um, just based on the album cover, I think it might have been written for like a show or a movie or I don't know. Um, but I'm very excited to get into this. I hope that it is reminiscent of her older style of music. Um, it was released in 2016, so uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna like this or not, because again, the last album that I really fully enjoyed was Scarlet's Walk. So let's get into this. The track is called Flicker. And again, if anybody knows anything about this song, um, when it was written, why it was written, um, let me know because I, like I said, did not even know that it existed until about not even a minute ago. So let's get into this, guys. I've noticed that Tori's voice, as she's gotten older, has gotten a little bit more raspy. I think this track, we're beginning to see the, the early stages of that. I will say this though, I love Tori, but she does not pronounce vowels like the rest of the world. <laughs> not hating it so far. I'm guessing that that's her husband on guitar. Yeah, she doesn't pronounce vowels like the rest of us. With Tori, you never know if a vocal crack is on purpose or a vocal fry is on purpose or not. I mean, it always usually works out, but... Stellar piano playing, as always. Okay. Like I said, I don't hate this so far. The guitar gives it an almost sense, almost a sense of urgency. Exposed, 
I'm not a fan of the way she sings that line. Something about it just rubs my brain the wrong way. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of her husband's guitar playing, but in this song I feel like it works. Okay, that was Flicker by Tori Amos. Um, it wasn't as phenomenal as some of her older work, but at the same time, it wasn't as, I don't want to say atrocious, because that's not really the right word, um, because that's a bit too harsh of a word. Um, it wasn't as disappointing as some of her other works that I've heard as far as later years. Um, and that's not to say that artists can't evolve and change, because they should, and, you know, they should continue to experiment and do things that make them happy. And I know that for me, um, for me personally, as, as an artist, I know that I'm always wanting to try new things and do you know, maybe things that might be a little out there, maybe a little weird. Um, and I think that Tori is one of those artists that does that as well. But a lot of Tori's newer writing, it just seems so lackluster in comparison to her older work. And again, you can't expect that same angst and passion from someone you know, 30 years into their career, um, but I think that, I think this was one of the better attempts at, um, at a song as far as evolving writing, and I, I really liked this one. Um, I'm gonna have to eventually dive deeper into her later catalog, because I know that there are still some very, very strong songs in her later catalog. It's just general consensus is that a lot of the albums are too long and that they would have benefited from losing a few of the filler tracks. So I'm really curious to see what those extremely high highs are. Um, because from what I've heard from other people who listen to Tori, is that the highs are very high and the lows are very low. So I'm very curious to see what they consider the high songs and what they consider the low songs. So if you are familiar with Tori's later catalog and you have a suggestion for me, please let me know because I adore Tori and I cannot wait to see what you all consider her best songs on these later albums. And I will say this, after seeing some of them live, um, like I said, I just saw Tori Amos about two weeks ago, and I gained a better appreciation for some of the songs that I previously didn't know, so let me know what, if you had a similar experience, what are some of your picks for the later albums? Talk to me about it. Let me know what you thought and give me suggestions for what you think I would like to listen to, what you would like me to listen to, and just start up a conversation, guys. Let me know what you want. I will always do my best to listen to your suggestions, copyright permitting, because we don't want this to get shut down. But as always, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.